All right, we got this one pulled up here. It's out of detail. We got it running for you. You can listen to that run a little bit. A few trips on the front bumper here. That metallic flake really shines nice in the sun. Love this color. Um, give you an idea of tires here. Balance looks really good. A few chips, but nothing else. Any, uh, there's really nothing else cosmetically that I noticed. Tires are good. Frame looks really clean for the year and everything. Got a few chips underneath too. This one does have those power running boards as well. Let's take a peek all the way around here. V-spring there. Peek underneath here. Seven pin looks like it needs a cover. So I must have been what he was using it for. Normal fifth wheel stuff back here with the plugs. Put your lights there. This one does have that tailgate step that flips up and folds out really nice and easy. A little scratch. Decent size scratch on your bumper back here. Backup sensors. Back here. Got a good idea what's going on back here. The power running boards come out really slick. Works good. Seats back here look great. They both do flip up and they lock as well. So you have some storage back here too. 110 volt as well. Keep your boards here. Normal 10 way seat on that side. Heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Normal auxiliary port switches. Your book and everything is in here. Yeah, the seat itself on this side looks beautiful. Headliner looks great, smells great. Yeah, we can hop into the driver's side here. See the little bit of paint chipped off on the power board there. Automatic lights. It's your power fold, power extending mirrors. Foot pedals. Got your mileage there. And there's another peek at the heated and cooled seats, navigation, everything on there. But the seat itself on this side, there's a little bit of a tear here. Other than that, looks pretty good. So let me know if you have any other questions or if there's anything else I can help with. Thank you.